guys welcome back to the channel today we have a pack with me video i feel like it's been a long time since i've done a pack with me video but if you've been watching my vlogs you would know that i'm off to south africa next week so third of april you would know that because it's all i've been banging on about and i've been so unorganized but i just had a knock on the door and i've had a few deliveries so today's poa got my summer suitcase out the hallway cupboard and then i've got a bag there full of summer stuff so i'm gonna go through both things and see what i potentially want to take with me and give it a good wash because it's been in the hallway cupboard for months on end and then i can work out if i need to get anything i mean probably don't but i probably should shower and get nice so i can try things on but I might save that for tomorrow. So today I'll just organize, make piles, and then tomorrow I can try on because I've just had this gorgeous dress arrive. So for one of the nights we are in South Africa, we had a white party. I'm going for a wedding, by the way. I don't know if I've mentioned that. And um, so there's a few, a few events around the wedding. So I bought this for the white party. I need to try it on, but I've just finished Pilates and I'm gross, so I'd rather not try it on just yet. But I'm hoping it looks nice on. But how gorgeous is that? Like the long sleeves, like I just, I think it's stunning. And then it's got like an open back and I feel like with gold jewelry, and like a gold bag i got this new gold clutch which would be perfect so i'm hoping that looks nice and that is my white party outfit sorted even though i might pack a second one just in case because obviously that's long sleeve and quite thick and i don't know how hot it's going to be apparently it gets a bit chilly in the evenings but to be honest if it looks really cute i'll just suck it up and wear it i'll get hot that's fine the big problem is i've not actually got a dress for the wedding i've just not found anything i loved and then i finally found something i love and then i've ordered it but it's coming from australia and it's not even been shipped yet so it's not looking likely that that's going to arrive um so i think i've kind of ordered some dresses Trousers. I thought these would be good for holiday and like lounge. Like pajama style trousers in black and white. Well, actually, it's a bit more of a grey. But I thought they would be perfect. They would also be great to travel in. So I picked those up. Oh, I also ordered this. It sold out on Fourth and Reckless so quickly, but then they had it on ASOS. But it looks gorgeous on the mil on the model. Again, that could be good for the white party. And then two potential wedding dresses. I mean, to be honest, I was in love with either of these, but you know when you just feel like you have to order something? You have to order something. But I thought this could look nice on with like, I think, imagine like a gorgeous tan, gold accessories. Don't know. I mean, it's hard to envision. But it's like, Can you see the vision? Probably not. <laughs> Do you know what? That actually might be nicer than I thought. Just, you know, get the vibe. Okay, let's see what's 
an error. Oh, I love that dress. Love this dress as well. This is, I don't feel like it's really South Africa vibes, but how gorgeous is that? You might recognize it. I wore it, um, where did I wear it? Coachella. We have got a pool party day, or we also have a hen do. Maybe I'm, I might take that and I'll wash that. Just a little, I mean, my whole wardrobe is white. <laughs> I'm gonna take this little Arquette bag, that's just handy. And apparently it's best not to like take designer stuff. I mean, I might take some bucket hats, but I feel like that's fine. It's not very flashy. Okay, we have SBF. So that will obviously come in handy. I'm gonna try it and see. Right, then this big bag. Okay, we're pausing one packing episode and starting another because I'm actually off on a little staycay tonight. And I'm so excited just to get there sit in my pyjamas and do absolutely nothing. So I basically just put everything in this corner. Um, I've not tried my stuff on yet, so I will commence all of that tomorrow when I'm back home. But for now, I just need to pack a little bag. So I might do Pilates tomorrow. So I packed a gym set. Then some little cute PJs. Underwear and socks, you don't need to see that. My makeup bag, even to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna need it, but pack it anyway. Wash bag. Some trainers for tomorrow. Come back to these there. Socks. Sunny's a hat. Jewelry, oh, Dino, obviously. Going nowhere without him. Okay, hairbrush. Sunglasses. Okay, that, I wish, packing for South Africa was gonna be that easy too, but I doubt it very much. So, I need some perfume. I mean, probably don't, but I don't really like to go anywhere without perfume, so I'm just gonna pack Autumn Vibes. To be honest, I should probably pack something a bit more summery and light because it's so gorgeous out, but I'm lazy and I'm not going to go back upstairs. Oh, I need a phone charger. I've packed some eye masks, so me and the girls can do eye masks. I did actually want to pack them. Little like goodie bags, but I've not got time. So, the thought was there, but <laughs> that'll have to wait for another day. Okay, this is today's outfit. Just cozy and comfortable, because I'm literally gonna get there and get straight in my PJs. And this is just like easy to chuck on. So let's go. So we have just arrived to the hotel. I thought I'd give you a little hotel room tour before we make it messy. So I've actually stayed here before, so I might have shown you before actually, but it would have been a very, very long time ago. And I feel like this place just never gets boring. So I'm gonna show you. you <laughs> I'd love to be able to eat them, but oh. I don't think I can. I was like, why is your camera girl. all week? <laughs> <laughs> How cute is it? The little fluff. So you walk in and then you've got like the living area. So you left us a beautiful note and some little snacks and some drinks. Um, what have we got? What drinks are they? Negroni. Yeah. And no, lychee martini. Oh, we love those. Um, so this is the front room. The views. 
are insane. Like, what a beautiful day. It's such a gorgeous day. Let's check on the sunset so you can see it. This is like one bedroom. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. And then the main bedroom. Actually, let me show you the bathroom first because the bathroom is unreal. Imagine this being your apartment. I would never leave. This bathtub, divine, with those views. And then this is the main room. It's gorgeous with views all over. Oh, I cannot wait to sleep in there tonight. So, <coughs> if we did fail to go to the pub to meet our friends, it's 13 minutes in a cab. Yeah. I would go like this. Stunning. On my vans. Stunning. Right? Thoughts? I would go like this, and then when the party really starts, I'll do this. Oh yeah, pop off sis. Get it. Okay, so should we try and pitch it to Georgia that we oh, go to the pub like this? <laughs> oh yeah, thanks man. What, what do you think everyone think? I think it'd be quite bad to, to be honest. Um, by the way, it's half five we're in our pajamas and I Oh yeah, it's half five we've ordered um, room service. <laughs> and Georgia, would you like to see what Georgia Smith is doing? This Let's we take are. you to Georgia Smith's room. We are wild, wild girls. Georgia Smith is currently... I'm naked. Naked? On the toilet. Oh, I thought you were ironing. She was ironing. <laughs> we're going to sit here, watch a gorgeous movie, and relax. Oh, we're only missing a blanket. I'm sure they've got blankets here. And we're going to sit here and watch Peppa Pig. It's so warm right now, but just for the vibes... Jesus Christ right. almighty. I'm blind. blind. Kettle. I do a little. <laughs> Kettle, ridge, sweet chilli bee. Are they spicy? No, not spicy. You got a small one. Thank you. I don't like spice, guys. Just. Oh. They taste like beef. Mm. Not the best. Not the best. Pizza. Lay's Pizza Hut. Say that. Shesmak. What do you say? How did you get that? Yeshmak. Yeshmak. It's got a G. Yeah, but sometimes it's silent. <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> yeah, you're so right. Thank you. Yeshmak. Yeshmak. What does that mean? Margarita. Thank you. In the German. Oh, very know. niche that is actually Pizza Hut. They had a KFC one as well. Oh no, look at that. No. No. KFC and they have Subway Teriyaki. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh no. No, no. It smells a bit weird as well. Do you know what? It actually does taste a bit like a pizza base. Oh, Would you like no. the cup of taste test? No, I won't like this. No, she no won't. not very nice. You need to get your dressing gown on. Come now. How are they? Oh, gross. Oh. They're not very nice. I'll wait for mine. Oh, this looks so stunning. Yeah, we can wait for the sun to set and then we can shut all the blinds and make it like a move. Super cosy. Mm. We said we we're going to maybe cool down and get some blankets. We've got to figure out how to pair the, my phone to the TV. Can you use my laptop? Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> oh, get out I am it, thrilled. Though. I'm so hungry. Me too. I feel like a princess just being served. All the foods. <laughs> We've got basically a bunch of random. Well, I got carbonara pasta. They got some prawns. We got some chips. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> you happy? Yeah. Oh, the little carrots. Why don't you go burn yourself? It is very hot in here. The wrong person to be dishing this. Yummy. <clears throat> Some oh, help. Georgia, you're going to love that. <gasps> Delicious. It's warm. 
Lemonade. <laughs> Yummy. Behind the scenes of making a TikTok. Do you have to do it with the timer? <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Okay. Yeah, you. So just do, you go do me first. Yeah. You told me to not You told me I needed a gastric band. <laughs> okay. Wait, what is it? You told me I needed a gastric band. It's like, and you know you did. You told me I need actually say. You told me I needed a gastric band. Okay. You told me I needed a gastric band. It'll Count me in, down. It'll be in five seconds. Two, one. You told me I needed a gastric band. <laughs> I can't wait to watch this. <laughs> you tossed your food out the window. Oh no, that is fine. <laughs> is this bit, is this bit? <laughs> this is so fun, we should do this all the time. <laughs> wait, hang on, we've got to finish it up. <laughs> you told me I needed a gastric band. And you know you did. Are you actually, actually saying that? Because it's the truth. That is complete and utter lie. How dare you say that? That's a cheap fucking stunt. <laughs> In the cab the other night, you'd obviously had a drink. You tossed your two, two glasses of wine. You tossed your food out the window <laughs> like a diva. Right. Bizarre behaviour. You've never been a diva in your life. Yeah. Okay. I smashed that. I can. I'm Gemma been. Collins fan. I'm 34. I've earned my day this year. And I'm not going to be <laughs> like a bit of dirt by you. Can you can you explain how I spoke to you like a bit of dirt? Because all I like remember is saying, cheers, Jen. Thanks for mugging me off. <laughs> told me I needed a gastric. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We got some ice cream and some mint tea. Yummy. Because we're children. You know what my favourite thing was listening to you munch on your Pringles. Yeah, no, <laughs> I kept trying to wonder, what is I was like, noise? I can hear it, yeah. but surely she's actually asleep. It's like, yeah. no, no. Just woke up hungry. <laughs> Just woke up. Right, here we go. With the munchies. Mm -hmm. 18 minutes of Gemma Collins. Yes. What now? We just got in bed, and as I got into bed, all the lights went off. Linda goes, "Do you turn that off?" I was like, "No." And then I, we basically one thought there was a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we thought it was a ghost, and then we thought it was a power cut because I went out and tried to turn all the switches, and nothing worked. She's like, "I'm not sleeping in here now." I'm off. I'm off. Get the door. I'm off. See you later. <laughs> I'll leave my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the uh, dino and off I go. Yeah, but it turns out Georgia... Georgia turned the master off. She so turned the master off from out there. Because we went into her room like, have you got a power cut? She said, no. <laughs> no, oh, did I um, turn them all off? Oh, sorry, did I turn all the lights off? I was like, yeah, you did. She said, I turned the master off. Sorry about that. Yeah, you fucking knob. <laughs> Anyway, me and Lindy Lou have got into bed. Georgia is in... We all had to make a promise that we weren't going to go to bed. <sighs> yeah. We really forced ourselves to stay up late. It's currently half nine. That's No, is it even half nine yet? No. I think it's but nine. at eight, we was like, we can't go to bed at eight because then we won't sleep. Even though I did accidentally fall asleep on the sofa. And woke up eating crisps. Yes. <laughs> Just the re the reason they knew <laughs> I was awake is because apparently all they I had heard is the rustling. Of it. I woke up eyes closed as well. I woke up a hungry girl, you know. I wake up really hungry in the morning. <sighs> anyway, good night, sleep tight. Good morning. We've just woken up from the most beautiful sleep. Ever. I think I'm still half asleep to be honest. <laughs> but we're gonna go head down for breakfast. 
And then Georgia is parting ways with us and then me and Elindy are going to have a nice little wholesome Sunday. Um, also, happy Easter. Happy Easter, girls. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Um, but yeah, we're going to go for breakfast. Also, this hotel have their own honey farm. Look. They've got the bees down there. So cute. It's a bit overcast at the moment, but I've got a good feeling the sun is going to come out. Still gorgeous views. Breakfast. We have had a buffet. No problem, yeah. But now we're having cake. I've got marble cake. And Lindy has got a gluten free breakfast muffin. I think it looks like lemony. Lemon sugar or something. But you, you can tell me once you eat it. I think it is lemon. It looks lovely though. I never get that muffin. Checking out. What a beautiful little staycation. Now we're off to get these trotters done. <laughs> Current state of my living room. I've got How To Lose Guy and 10 Days On. This is my outfit of the day. <laughs> it's currently 1.20 and I'm in my dressing gown, but I'm gonna try on some outfits. So there's no point me getting changed. I also went to Zara today, picked up some bits. But first of all, I'm going to write a list. Also, I got my holiday nails done. I just went for a neutral. And then I'm going to get my toes done tomorrow. But it feels so much nicer. Okay, so I've got travel travel outfits, gym kits, wedding day outfit, white party outfit, Hindu outfit, pool party outfit, and then obviously just like general day and evening outfits, which I think are going to be pretty chill, but I'm going to pack some nice dresses. Then I've got jewellery, underwear, bikinis, chargers, tripods. wedding cards guys this has literally been me all day to pilates this morning came back showered and then i was like i might as well just stay in my dressing gown because i'm going to try on some outfits for the trip but then i tried on a few and i then got distracted so basically i've just sat in my dressing gown all day um i have got some work done though in my defense but and I've basically got some clothes on the hangers over there that I think I'm going to take. Some outfits I definitely know I'm going to take. And then some are maybes. I also have a pile over there. That's like the maybe pile. That's basically like the definite, definite pile. And then I'm still waiting for some bits to arrive. So, sorry I'm so warm. <laughs> My outfit for the wedding hasn't arrived. So that's really good. I've got a backup option, but to be honest, I don't love it. Like I don't, I'm not like, wow. I'm hoping maybe once I've got a tan and like my hair, my makeup and my jewelry is all on, I might like love it a bit more. But um, then I also do have this option, which I do think is gorgeous, but I just don't think it's the right vibe. Um, but I am gonna try some looks on and show you because I've bought quite a bit of new things for the trip. So I'm gonna do a whole haul and try on. Um, I also picked up some new white jeans today because apparently in the evenings it gets a bit cold and I don't actually own a pair of white jeans. So I saw this pair in COS. Again, I've not tried them on because I'm lazy. Um, and then I've got some bikinis arriving tomorrow. I wasn't actually gonna bother ordering any bikinis, but then I saw some really good ones. <laughs> on ASOS, so I've ordered them. So I'm not gonna bother doing my bikinis just yet. Outfits, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow because where I just look like this, 
like I literally have like a big toe and I've just eaten a big dinner and I feel bloated and gross. Like I just don't want to be trying outfits on when I feel like this. Um, I say that and I've just made myself a cup of tea and I've got some chocolate. But anyway, so what we are going to do is gym kits. So I've basically just pulled a pile of some of my favourite gym kits here. And then I'm going to pack some because that is one thing I can do for now. I'm hoping to not fall out of routine with like working out while I'm there. And thankfully everyone on the trip are very into their fitness. <laughs> so at least that will keep me motivated and I wanna do like lots of hikes and walks and stuff. So even though I am more chill when I am on holiday, like with working out and stuff, I do wanna make a conscious effort to work out a lot when I'm there because the hikes are meant to be amazing and I just want to feel good you know so I did actually order some bits from Adenola but I don't think they're gonna arrive in time so let's just go through okay so I'm definitely gonna do these I need to change my memory card one mo okay I've changed my memory card but now my battery's low <laughs> So I think I'm just going to end the vlog for today. Um, to be honest, there's not much to show you because I'm just going to have to do everything tomorrow. Um, by the way, I've got my hair booked in for tomorrow. So that's going to take about five hours. And I also need to get my toes done. And then Wednesday I go. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Why am I like this? Like, honestly, I drive myself crazy. Um, but I've got my gym kits. I'm there for like just under two weeks. We are staying in a villa at some point. I'm staying in like three, actually I'm staying in four different places while I'm there. Um, so I probably will be able to do a wash, but I just wanted to take enough. So I think this is what I'm gonna go for. I also bought these gorgeous shoes today, look. I just think they're so cool. Good morning, me back again in the living room in my dressing gown, <laughs> but I have just showered. Um, so today's POA has changed. I was meant to be getting my hair done because I mean, look at it. Um, but my hairdressers just had to cancel, which obviously I'm gutted for because now I'm gonna have to go on holiday like this. Um, and I go tomorrow, so it's not like I can book in for another day. But I mean, I mean, it's not the end of the world. Hair is hair. Do you know what I mean? Um, and to be honest, I feel, I don't know if anyone else gets like this. <laughs> for like a big trip, I always get a bit like anxious and overwhelmed. So maybe it's a good thing that I'm just at home today. Because obviously that appointment was basically taking up my whole day. So I'd plan to be out the house all day. So maybe it's a good thing. I don't really know. But... Yeah, I always just get a bit anxious. I think especially because it's a wedding and weddings, if you're single, <laughs> you will know. Weddings, when you're single, especially abroad weddings, are so daunting and so overwhelming. Like all the abroad weddings I've had have never made me feel so single in my life. And I'm very content and very happy being single. And I think where I'm just not feeling myself at the moment, you know, as a girl, probably as a boy as well, like you go through those phases where you just don't like yourself physically. Um, I just feel a bit like, oh, but I know that is so temporary and that is gonna pass. I'm just having one of those moments and it's probably just because I feel overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I need to do before I go away. Not even just for obviously the trip, just for like work and stuff, but don't want to moan or be negative because I'm so excited for this trip and I know it's going to be amazing once I'm there. So yeah, at least I have the full day at home now. Um, I did accidentally sleep through my alarm this morning, which I never do. So I actually missed my Pilates class. I literally woke up at half six and I was like, oh, my class isn't till seven, that's fine. And I was like, no, idiot, you've got to be there at seven. 
And to be honest, I probably could have like really, really rushed. I thought, you know what? Just lie there. <laughs> hopefully I can just pull off the rooty look and hopefully the sun will just brighten me up. Oh, also I got um, a notification from my dress that I ordered for the wedding, finally. And it's not arriving until Monday. <laughs> Obviously I go tomorrow, so that is no good. I mean, it is coming from Australia, so it was wishful thinking. So I'll show you when it does arrive at some point, probably when I'm back from the trip, because it's beautiful. Oh, I can just show you now. <laughs> Who's calling me? 0344. Hello? Funny enough. <laughs> that was just DHL to tell me I've got import tax. So I feel like this dress was just a bad idea. Um, so I probably wouldn't recommend ordering this dress. I will update you on how much I have to pay import tax because if it's like a tenner, it's fine. But if you're whacked with like a hundred pound bill and it's already quite expensive. So it was this gorgeous blue dress and it had these like red flowers. And then it's also like backless. I just thought the colors and the fit were beautiful. Also, I just remembered yesterday when I was vlogging, I was gonna show you my new shoes and then the camera cut out because I had no battery, but these are them. I feel like, I mean, they're doing no justice here, but they look so cool on and I feel like they're such a good flat sandal. They're a bit more of a smarter sandal. I just thought they were really, really cool and they would go perfectly with my colour scheme, my wardrobe. They were $49.99. I did size up one. Just, I hate it when like your heel is on the edge. So I always normally just size up one. So I picked those up yesterday. And then I got this bag. DHL, what are they gonna tell me now? Anyway, so I don't know what dress I'm wearing, but I needed like a fancier clutch bag, dressier events. And then I just picked this one up. It's so gorgeous and it looks so good with outfits. Like I feel like it just makes any look look more expensive. And it's actually quite spacey. It has got a strap, but to be honest, can you remove that? You can actually remove the strap as well, so I'll probably remove that. But like, can you see the vision? <laughs> So I don't know what dress I'm wearing, but I am planning to wear this. So I wanted to pick up some gold shoes as well. And I think that's it for my morning rant. So thank you for listening. I swear to God, I am gonna get out of my dressing gown <laughs> at some point in this video. But one, what did we ever do before Amazon? Last night I had to panic order adapters, forgot about adapters, and then just boring technical stuff so I can still be on my vlogging game while I'm out there but I also because I've fallen out of love with reading and if you know me I was such a big reader I think now just where my life is so much more busier I don't really have time not that I don't have time actually I just don't prioritize it Anyway, a holiday is always a great opportunity to get back into reading. Um, and I had this one saved on my list. I think I saw someone on TikTok talk about it. It's called The Courage to Be, Di the Courage to Be Disliked. How to Free Yourself, Change Your Life and Achieve Real Happiness. And I basically saw some reviews on TikTok and it's meant to be really good. So this is going to be my holiday book, I think. But I also love picking up um, books at the airport. Don't know why, it just always makes me feel so happy. So yeah, I'm gonna give this a scan at some point today, make sure I like the vibe. But then I probably will pick up another book. Anyway, I've got some work to do before I need to crack on. So I need to stop talking to you. <laughs> just have packed my swim swimwear i've got three bikinis arriving from asos today so i'll probably take some out and replace them with the new ones but i thought i'd just get organized 
Um, what else have I done? Is that it? <laughs> then I've got my gym kits in here. I just need to add some leggings because all I've packed is shorts and I feel like some days it might be a bit chilly. So I'm gonna add some leggings and a few things to there. Um, I wish I had more packing cubes, to be honest. And I thought I did, but I don't. I mean, I could order, I could order some now. I mean, I leave tomorrow, so they'll arrive tomorrow, but Okay, I've just ordered some more packing cubes. They just make your life so much easier, especially when you're on holiday and you can put your dirty stuff back into some cubes and you can just separate everything. So, I'm gonna do what I can with the current cubes I have. And then once some arrive tomorrow, I'll whack it in there. But I've basically got some looks I've pulled aside. These are like my definite items I'm going to take. So I'm going to basically separate them into like day and night. So I kind of know what I've got. I've just got a gorgeous black linen cord. That could be day or night to be honest. And I'll probably wear the linen trousers more than once. So that is a definite yes. I'll just wax them here for now. This gorgeous hyphen set is going to be for the Hindu, I think, because it's like sunset colours. And how gorgeous is that purple? So I'm thinking that for the Hindu. And then these sheer maxi dresses are always just so easy to chuck on. And you still look put together. So I'm gonna pack both of those. So I need some like day. Then I'm gonna pack a pair of white jeans. These are new in from Cos and they fit like an absolute dream. So I'm gonna pack them and then I'm just gonna pack some like vests and t-shirts just for like easy everyday outfits for like chill dinners and stuff like that. Especially if it's a bit cold. And some shorts, I'm also gonna pack some denim shorts. And then I'm gonna pack this acne t-shirt. And then I'm also gonna pack a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, like all the neutrals. And then I've just got this gorgeous white linen maxi skirt. This is also from Hyphen, but again, that just looks great with like cropped white t-shirts and stuff like that. So I just need some day stuff. Okay, my ASOS delivery arrived. The bikinis are so cute. I mean, I've not tried them on and I know that is not very smart, but I've tried on about 50 things and I've finally got into my gym kit and I can't be bothered to get out. Um, let me just quickly. I feel like they're gonna fit, um, but I'll take more than enough bikinis anyway but i loved this one like one i loved the green but also just loved the detailing on the side i thought that was gorgeous and then i'm packing like linen pants that i can just whack that on with and stuff like that so i love that one and then i also got this one which reminds me of the Frankie shop. But it's actually just Motel Rocks. Oh, it's all tangled. But how cute is that? And then you've got the matching bikini top there. So. I feel like I'm not really getting very far. Um, but I basically... I'm just putting stuff into piles. So I've got like day t-shirts, t-shirts that I can wear like in the evening, cords, dresses, trousers. I mean, 
they're all currently cream and brown <laughs> and they're like my wedding event dresses and clothing because I know for a fact obviously I'm going to take them I just need to sort accessories out um so I think I need to make this a little bit smaller like is it necessary to have about 20 freaking bikinis no so let's think about this smartly okay swimwear done okay handbag wise my battery's low so i'm gonna talk fast i'm gonna do my little brown marnie bag i wear this so much in the summer and especially on holiday then i'm gonna do obviously my gold one that i'm wearing to the wedding just a black nina bing bag this one just because it's like good for like every day this was just sarah but i loved it and I feel like they're super chill and like understated. Then I also have another brown one that I'm gonna bring. This is the current state. <laughs> Got Lindy. Always. What's that? Ah! Silly sausage. Ordered some food. This is the diet you need before you go away. Burger and fries. It's fine because we're Chicken sharing. Week. Wings morning guys so today is officially the day i am off <laughs> i feel like i have really dragged out this whole packing process but to be honest when i have time i will drag it out i'm good under pressure and i will get it done but if i have the time i'm gonna faff and take my time um but i've been to pilates this, this morning i've just had my toes done i would show you but i mean who wants to see my toes I actually do have very gorgeous toes. That is one thing I will say. Um, but that is just not the audience I'm looking for on on my channel. But I basically got the same colour as my... I actually have a night flight, which I never really book, but I basically booked the same flight as a few other people. But it's actually worked in my favour because I have my whole day, basically, to finish packing. I need to do, like the also i picked this dress up yesterday it kind of reminds me of the reformation dress and i tried it on and it actually looks very cute so oh, it's just this little sweet camisole dress and it's got this little bow here but it actually looks very expensive it was 25.99 from pull and bear I got that, oh, it's currently 111. I got that in a small. So I just picked that up because I thought that would look cute with just like black sandals and a black blazer. But these arrived yesterday and I'm so excited to use them. So I think I'm going to take all three. <laughs> it is the lip oils from Gazoo. And I, and I actually the hell is wrong with me i actually have the just like the usual honey one but these are tinted and flavored so we have strawberry mango passion and watermelon okay so i think i am pretty much done packing cubes will literally change your life so i've got so i've got pajamas there i've got like my important outfits so like stuff to do with the wedding then i've got casual day stuff in there gym kits in there can't quite tell which one <laughs> that is i've got bikinis in there Okay, I am all ready, all packed, ready to go. I have to last minute wonderweb an outfit. <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Obviously I have a 11 and a half hour flight ahead, ahead of me. So comfort is key. I've gone for just like these lounge, 
black trousers, a black t-shirt, black blazer, because I had to pack a black blazer anyway. And then I'm going to take my jumper and then just my Anina Bing jumper, Birkenstocks with fluffy socks because they're just so easy to take on and off. Then I have my big suitcase, which is definitely, definitely overweight. Can I lift it? Yeah, but Jesus. Um, and then my big beach bag as my carry on. And then I just take this over the body bag. Because one, I'm going to need it for like the mornings when I go for walks and the gym. And two, it holds all the essentials. And then I also have my carry on. So I have packed more than enough. I'm sure I'll still have outfit meltdowns when I'm there, but I will see you when I'm in South Africa.